Matt, is this pretty much what you wanted to accomplish in your last start of the spring? Yeah, I think the you know the biggest thing is obviously finishing camp healthy and and uh, you know now that obviously you've made the team, I think the last your last outing, you just want to kind of fine tune some things and really just attack people. I was a little uh, upset with the walks, but you know those are going to happen. And I feel like I uh, you know pounded the zone pretty well. I got ahead of guys and kind of let them back in on some of bats that I'm you know not really that happy about. But uh, overall, I mean when you can go five innings, feel pretty strong through, through all five. Yeah, I think you, that's kind of when you know you're ready. Rich, go ahead. Matt, if they had told you at the beginning of spring training, not only you would have made the team, but you would be the number two starter, would you have been satisfied with that? Yeah. I mean, I, I really didn't know what to expect coming in. Um, and like I said, you know, over and over, I think, you know, each time I picked up a ball, each, each uh, bullpen and then each outing just got got better and better and more comfortable, able to um, trust that and really, you know, just go out there and pitch. And, and um, you know, I, I think coming into camp, I didn't uh, obviously knowing I had to make a team and, and um, you know, I needed to know I needed to work every single day and, and uh, get on board with what they were doing, which was pretty easy at the time because they 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 were doing, you know, almost exactly what the guys up in New Jersey were, um, you know, showing me and having me do. So that that part made it pretty easy. And then, you know, my my job was to go out and and like I said, prepare for every start and stay healthy and and uh, you know just just try and get better and better each time. Steve, go ahead. Matt, as you said, when you started it, not quite sure, knowing what all was going to unfold, what have been the keys to the last few weeks that, where things came together for you? And also, what are your thoughts on the game two start in Boston? Uh, I'm obviously extremely excited about uh, game two. I mean, uh, growing, up, growing up in Connecticut, it's not too far from home. So, you know, playing, playing in, uh, in that ballpark is, is something special. So i uh, obviously excited about that. And, and I think you know, like I said, each time, um, really knowing, knowing the, put the work in, in between starts and being able to go out there and really not, not trying to think about it and, and just attack and pitch and, and ultimately get guys out. I think, um, you know, like I said, a, a lot of times in the last couple of years, I wasn't really that satisfied or happy with how things went in between outings, but, uh, bullpen wise, but, you know, we, we did good work in between. We, that's when we really focused on nailing down the mechanics and, and what, what pitch shapes we wanted in certain counts and, and how to attack guys. And then, uh, you know, my job was to go out and trust that the, that work was there and, and that it was good. And then, you know, like I said, just go out and pitch. Nathan, go ahead. Matt, how do you feel about the team at large? What do you feel like you guys can kind of accomplish this year? Well, I mean, it's, it's fun. It's just, it's, it seems like everybody's getting better and better. And, you know, I know that with a young, with a young team, it's, it's, um, you know, the more comfortable you get the guys, the guy's ability just comes out even more. Um, I'd like to say that I feel kind of feel like a young guy again, obviously having to make the, make the team and be there right, right there with them. Um, so it's, it's fun. It's, it's, uh, it's exciting. It's going to be an exciting year. And, you know, I think, like I said, I said before, you know, we, we're not going to put the idea that we're in a rebuild or, or young or whatnot. You know, our, our job is every time to go out and win, win a game and, you know, see what happens at the end of the year. Dan, go ahead. Matt, at least nationally speaking, it seems like, you know, this rotation is filled with a lot of unknowns or, or, or question marks or whatever. But you've been down there and you've kind of gotten to see these guys. How would you specifically, you know, kind of pinpoint what this rotation could be it's you know like I said it's exciting obviously seeing what uh everyone's done um you know the, the COVID rules obviously don't let us go on road trips and and see guys even at home so um obviously looking at the you're pretty much looking at the box scores and and asking them how they they felt or did the next day it's that's kind of what you're what you're going off of this year but um you know, everybody wants to win. We, our job is to, as starters, is to go as long as we can and keep runs off the board and, and you know, let our guys work in the field and, and then uh, put up some runs and that's how you win games. So 
we're, uh, I think we're all excited about that for sure. Nathan, go ahead. Matt, just as a kind of quick follow-up to that, what are your impressions of, of Bruce Zimmerman just in talking with him and, and uh, you know, what do you think about what he can bring to this team? Well, I mean, it's, I feel like every time I'm in the, in the weight room or training room getting work done, he's, he's right there, right there next to me. So it's, um, it's fun to see his work, uh, work ethic. He's, he's in there every day. He's working hard. He's a strong kid. And, um, you know, like I said, I haven't, we haven't really been able to watch each other a whole lot, uh, you know, throughout the spring, but, you know, just seeing the numbers that he's been putting up and, and seeing how hard he works. It's, it's, uh, exciting. It'll be exciting to throw next to him.